Hi, this is Lauren for Super News. Today, with the help of Equal Education, Kayamandi High School is opening its library and reading room. The projects are uh, the Kayamandi High School Library and the Reading Room. Uh, we arrived at the school on a Fulbright grant and we were asked to just put together a library. So we contacted Equal Education, the, the bookery, and uh, they were able to donate about 3,000 books to Kaimani High School. So all of these books that you see on the shelves, um, most of them are from the bookery. Actually, the students have been in here all this past week. So uh, while working at the bookery in Cape Town, it was too far to really bring many students down. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we, once we got the books here, after they were cataloged, covered, um, had the little shelf label stickers on them and all of that, um, after that part was done, we brought the books here and the learners helped us um, put them in the right sections using those little colored dots and then they put all the books on the shelves. Uh, and then they've also helped us clean up the room and make it presentable for this event. Today marks a small but important milestone for equal education as we open library number 10. This contribution goes towards addressing a backlog of 22,796 schools across South Africa who currently have no materials and no librarians. Equal Education's campaign for school libraries calls for one library and one librarian in every single school in this country. We've been working on this campaign since 2009 and slowly but surely we are seeing signs of success. After today, you will have access to a library of your own and to some of the best books that money can buy. We hope that you will use them, that you will learn and that you will read, and then that you will take that knowledge back home to your younger brothers and sisters, and to your parents and to your community members. This is history. This is real history. You know, when I was a child, I was also a learner in Kayamani. We so much yearned for a library. We couldn't have one. We never had one. I remember our principal, Mr. September. He had a box where he kept books. Bonge Abana returned his phone would go to him and say, Principal, can we get a book? He would say, yeah, take a book, but bring it back. But in library, we never had it. We waited 64 years to get a library. There's a saying that says, the more you eat, the more you know. And especially to our young kids that are here today, reading, researching, expands one's horizons. You will be leaders tomorrow. And if you don't become leaders that are reading, you won't have any value or you want to be recognized by the people. I really believe that libraries are, uh, they really help learners to help themselves. It gives them the tools that they need to be able to be successful uh, in the long term. So even if they can't get all of the information about a subject in their classroom, uh, they can come here and find it. The library is for you guys. All of you, you must make use of it. There are still many schools in South Africa that need a library, so please donate your books to the bookery on Run Street. It was Lauren for Super News.